More than 170 choir singers from across the country have descended on northeastern Pennsylvania. They are raising their voices in song for a unique program. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Hiller takes us to one of the choir's final rehearsals. Prayer set to music is what fills St. Stephen's Pro Cathedral in downtown Wilkesbury. The sweet blending of voices you hear comes from a choir whose members come virtually from coast to coast, ranging in age from 10 to about 80. They're attending King's College Summer Choir Training Course. It's the largest course of its kind in North America, offered by the Christian Music Education Organization, the Royal School of Church Music in America. As organist and choir master at St. Mark's Church in Philadelphia, Robert McCormick is no stranger to lifting voices, just not as many as he's directing here. It's a particular challenge, but also a joy to sort of help bring them all together through all the music we're doing. Choir members virtually hit the ground running. After arriving in Wilkes-Barre on Monday, they sang later that evening at King's College, where they are staying for the week. What they're singing isn't what they're used to in their home churches. These selections are common in the Church of England. So we can do compositions that involve tremendous uh, diversity and complexity. Jeff West made the spiritual music experience a family affair. His wife and two teenage children are also visiting choir members. It's both a musical experience and a spiritual experience here. It's a, a retreat of kinds. It's so cool to me to think that we're all here in one place singing one song together. St. Augustine said um, singing is just like praying twice. I really believe in that. And one, two. It's been a tireless week of perfecting that musical prayer. You can put this on my tombstone. Listen louder than you sing. The listening, the singing, it's moving for these choir members. It floats my spirit again. A feeling they hope those who hear them will experience too. In Wilkesbury, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. The week-long program will conclude Sunday with two public performances at St. Stephen's Pro Cathedral. Head to pahomepage.com to learn more about that.